Don't look now, gamers, but it is the spoopy scurry time of the year, and I found myself in a bit of a pickle. You see, I didn't really have any skeletons to hang up and, you know, decorate the place, so I did what anyone in my position would do, since, uh, you know, I don't have any good decorations. I went looking for some skeletons inside some people's closets, and color me unsurprised when a bunch of people decided to leave things lying around for those dang meddling dogs like me to find. That's right. Fire up the mystery machine, cause we gotta scooby-doo some shit together here, folks. So those of you who watched my stream near the end of last month will recall a certain zoo file by the name of Dodo Wolf. Now, you might have noticed I've been really, really quiet today on Twitter. I've been, I've been surprisingly quiet, considering how much I quote tweet people. Well, that would be a result of this right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It looks like I've been locked for 12 hours. Uh, let's read that off, okay? Hi, Coyote Lovely. Your account, at Coyote Lovely YT, has been locked for violating the Twitter rules. Violating our rules against abuse and harassment. You may not engage in the targeted harassment of someone or incite other people to do so. This includes violating, or, I'm sorry, this includes wishing or hoping that someone experiences physical harm. Now, I, I would never... I would never wish physical harm on somebody. I would never do that. I'm a good boy. Um, so let's see what I had said, apparently, where I'd wish uh, physical harm on someone. Let's see, we've got the tweet right here. Uh, bro, you fuck dogs. Why do you think you have any room to talk down at anyone? Laughing my fucking ass off. I mean, the, it's weird. It doesn't seem like I, I'm trying to incite harm on anyone, does it? I mean, it really doesn't. It doesn't seem like I'm even telling anybody to, uh, to hit him with a bat. It doesn't seem like I'm saying people should throw, like, rocks at this person. It doesn't seem like I'm inciting any kind of harm on the person that I was, uh, quote-tweeting right there. But, but apparently, according to Twitter, this is, uh, this is a little bit harmful. Uh, I, I guess, uh, hurting his feelings qualified as wishing harm on him. It's, a uh, it's a little bit funny when you look at that. Um, but, you know what? Maybe it could be... And, and this is just benefit of the doubt here. This is just, we're going to give this man all benefit of the doubt. It could be that I was lying. I might have been lying. He might not be a dog fucker. Uh, he might not be. So we're going to just look into this a little bit. We're going to see if we can scooby-do it. See if we can get down to the bottom of this one. All right? We're going to see if we can figure out where I may have gotten this impression. Well, let's, uh, let's give a look at that. See, this is the guy that I was talking to. Uh, 28, male, and super gay. Uh, that's wonderful. You know, uh, he likes Dota too, uh, so we can already tell he has bad standards. You know, Dota's not really, not a great game, but um, I love Storm Spirit and Pangolier. I don't know what the fuck those are, but Neato Burrito, uh, and I watch lots of good TV shows. My good boy is my life. AMA. So, not sure who his good boy is. I'm going to take it that the good boy is this, this, this good little dog we see here all, all over his fucking profile. Um, that's probably his good boy, I'm gonna guess. Um, you know what? 18 plus only, please? Whatever. Okay. So this is who we're talking about, and let's see where I may have gotten this idea that maybe he's, a uh, a little too into his good boy. Uh, or maybe, uh, as we're gonna see, his good boy is just a little too into him. So, here we go. This is the thread, and as you can see at the top, that's the tweet I had to wind up deleting. So this is the thread here. Uh... First off, I don't fuck dogs. Secondly, stop attention whoring when no one's even talking to you. You're less relevant than you think, bud. Which is, okay, great. Okay, so he doesn't fuck dogs. Wonderful. So let's continue on. I scrolled down your media and see you have a dildo in the shape of some animal penis. So you would very much like to. I think that's a fair assumption. I personally, I think uh, Osno is 100% is correct here. That's a fair assumption. Now, as you can see, <laughs> the response we get is pretty goddamn incredible. No, I get fucked by dogs. That is different. I'm a bottom. 
<laughs> one day, when you've grown up, you'll know the difference. Hopefully. So, he doesn't fuck dogs, and instead, his defense, his defense to saying, dude, you fuck dogs, is saying, no, man, no, I don't fuck dogs, that would be wrong. I just let them fuck me. <laughs> Can you believe this fuck? Oh, holy shit, dude. I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine being this man. I really can't. Well, I was sent some very interesting stuff uh, about Dodo Wolf on Telegram that, uh... Oh, I, I, you know what? It's hard to describe. It's really hard to describe. It's easier to show you, but unfortunately on this medium, I can't. Love to, but I can't. It is so explicit that I actually can't show you on YouTube. What I can do is I can censor it and link it in a Google Doc in the description, so I would highly advise you to check it out for reference on what I'm going to be talking about in this segment. I will warn you though, what you'll see in that Google Doc, you're gonna find that kind of disturbing. It's not for the faint of heart, so I will give you a brief description. Some of the things that I was sent included him coming on his dog's face, which you're gonna see in that Google Doc, as well as a four second video clip of his dog licking his penis. These are also forwarded directly from him, so he's shared these videos around and it's very clearly done by him. Kinda runs slightly contradictory to some of the things he was saying on Twitter, which is that he's a pure bottom, which, don't get me wrong, is degenerate as shit still. You shouldn't even let dogs fuck you. But it's even then, most zoophiles recognize that they shouldn't be doing this stuff, at least on this level to animals, so it's very odd that he would lie publicly about that. Really, really gets the noggin jogging, doesn't it? I mean, it, it's almost like these guys aren't completely honest in public. You know, it's almost like they have a lot that they're not telling us. Hmm. I'd go into a lot more detail here in this segment, but the reality is, this isn't the primary focus of this video. It initially was going to be with some fucking long-winded speech at the end about why is Twitter allowing this and blah blah and some self-righteous bullshit that I was planning. But then, I had what we in the biz like to call a lucky break. See, I went into my creator's studio the other day, as one typically does when they're a YouTuber, and I found out I was getting this weird source of traffic from this place called Zooville.org. Yeah, a very small percentage, but enough to register. So I looked up what this website was, and oh my god, I found a fucking gold mine. This website is home to some of the most depraved, degenerate shit I've ever fucking seen on the internet. Bar none. And I didn't even create an account on this website because God knows I would never want to do that. Fuck that. But even when you don't create an account, there's so much depraved bullshit lying out in the open for guests to see. It's just... It, oh my god. I just... I have to get into some of these threads just to show you. We got a thread here called Who's Getting Any? A Satiety Poll. How often are you having sex with an animal? And then here are the percentages of the results. I have an animal partner and have sex as often as I slash we want. Votes 27. I have access to an animal for frequent sex. Votes 6. I get it when I can, but not as often as I'd like. Votes 13. I'm not currently active, but have been in the past. Votes 24. I have not yet had the opportunity, but would like to. Votes 23. I worry that I may never get the opportunity. Votes 12. And I don't want to be an active zoo. Votes for. You can see all that on your screen right now. See, one of the things that I find very interesting is how some of these answers are worded. Read that top one again. I have an animal partner and have sex as often as I slash we want. See, they make it seem like this is a hugely consensual thing, but they deliberately put I there. There's, that means there's an implication there that this is a singular one-way thing. Not only that, then look at, I have access to an animal for frequent sex, treating the animal like it's just a fleshlight. I mean, honest to God, how do they not understand how fucked up this is? And then I worry that I may never get the opportunity? Have you ever seen a question in this context that has been more worded like it's being written by a rapist? But I mean, I guess it's fitting, these guys are legitimately animal rapists, so I mean, there's no shocker there, is there? 
And honest to God, I want to read you a few of these posts on here. This one right here. The family dog is almost always here, but so are others. So most of the time, I can't do anything. When I'm not working and no one is around, I can do it when I want. I usually get a few opportunities a week if I work it out. I have enough opportunities that I don't usually use every single one, so in that, I'm more than satisfied with frequency. It's not a huge dog, though, and I'm only getting to do anal, not deep. In that arena, I'm not satisfied. I really want to go with a female dog, not anal. So hold on a moment. That right there is alarming as fuck. Just the implication of the sentence, I'm going to break this down for you very quickly. The implication here is that he is fucking a very small dog in the ass. The family dog, no less. I mean, why specify here that he wants to get a female dog so he doesn't have to do anal? This is fucking disturbing. There is no other word for this. It is fucking disturbing, and whoever the hell this person lives with should be truly, truly terrified of leaving their, their pets alone with him. I'm more in this group unless you count getting your dick licked. I am not currently an active zoo, but have been. For 12 years, an intimately sexual relationship with a female yellow Labrador. After her, a sort of jack-off bud and mutual blowjob relationship with a handsome and gentlemanly yellow lab that became Polly. Oh my fucking god, they're describing them as if they have human characteristics. <laughs> fucking... Take me out the pasture and point me towards the sunset. I want to see the rabbits. I want to see the rabbits, George. Jesus, kill me now. He and I taking our turns mounting my wife. He's acting like he was married to the dog. Oh my god. Both dogs are long deceased now, so what we have now is just casual light sexual pleasure with our new coon hound and one really kinky cat. Oh my He's fucking the cat. Oh my god, I need, I need a moment. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Okay, I'm getting off that thread. It's absolutely fucking disturbing. Let's go to a different thread. I'm gonna fucking power through this. So we're gonna get to a different thread. How to make ready a stray bitch for sex? You know, I'm just gonna leave that on screen for a moment while I just riff a little bit, because I don't think there's any context where this kind of thread is any kind of appropriate. They're treating it like it's okay in any context. It's a stray. It is literally the definition of grooming if you bring it into your house just to have sex with it, just to fuck it. That is all kinds of wrong. Just so many kinds of fucking wrong. 31 flavors of wrong. God, everything about zoo files is sick and wrong, and I don't know how they got this fucking damaged. Jesus Christ. But I just want to finish off by reading an excerpt from one particular post from Zooville, because I think it really drives home the point of this video. Now, this is a particularly long post, but I just want to highlight one statement. Stuff said in the wrong place, or that might been picked up the wrong way, can't be taken back. I think that right there is very telling, because that just shows that these people understand that they will not be able to tell you the entire truth on social media, whether it's Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, anywhere. They are going to have to give you half-truths. They're going to have to even flat out lie to you so that you will buy into what their, their bullshit is. They are not honest with you. These things that I have shown you are the things they truly do that they don't want you to know. Which is why I started the video with the image I did and why I went through everything I have. And honest to god, I wouldn't have even found any of this if these dipshits weren't stupid enough to actually link my content on their forums because they hate me so much. As you can see, what I've shown you is a complete horror show. And this is just the things you can see as a guest. These are the things that are not hidden behind you know, having to create an account, which they've labeled a lot of it as porn forums. Those are the hidden things. We have gotten some successful, good strides going this month. Zoo Here and Now has been taken off of YouTube. Several other Zoo File and Map podcasts have been removed from Spotify. So, it's not all, you know, rain clouds. There's been some good, but there's a ways to go. And I think exposing this kind of shit and letting people know about it 
that's a good place to start. Anyway, my Discord server is linked in the description, as is my Twitter. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking out the Halloween special. I'll catch you guys later.